Hiya! Carol here from Four Lazy Days. Today I'm showing you this little seaside town of Damgong in Brittany, about an hour and 40 minutes from where I live. There's about four holiday days in the month of May, so I get really easily confused and I never know which day it is in the month of May. Go around thinking it's Wednesday when it's Thursday or month. So we managed to get away, just me and my husband, for one of these long weekends. And I thought I would show you what I took with me. Because <laughs> obviously you can't go away without something in your bag to stitch. Or even just arty things in general. So ink tense pencils, wax crayons, a little tub for putting water in for painting, sketchbook, images to do collage with, writing paper, of course bias binding that you must have, this old pouch that I used to keep my masks in for work and now I've got threads and a glue stick, felt in wool, some pearls, scalpel and scissors, yo-yo material, little kits, sketching pencils, favourite threads, some more thread and then this is going to be the base of the project that I have in my head at this point. So these are bits of the belt around your jeans that I got a seam ripper to and ironed it out. It was from these jeans that I showed you in the last video. This is the back of the bag. And so I cut that belt off. I just needed the bum for that bag. And I just wanted to use up every bit. So these pouches are going to be like this. So I've cut out some interfacing at the size that I wanted it. And then I've covered both bits of interfacing with the denim scraps. So I wanted to make two pouches, one for one of my sons and one for one of my daughters. And the idea is for them to keep their battery charger and little wire in it to keep it together and um, even just protect it as well. Just keep the wire with the, with the actual battery charger. So um, this is my son's and I've decided to put some red material behind some of the scraps because I've got an idea for doing something later and then I've pinned the life out of it and then I get to do some slow stitching on this. So in the morning when I was up before my husband I decided to just get this ready because once it's pinned and you're ready to go you just have to take your thread with you and then You've got something that you can take outside and um, do whenever you want. So unfortunately my husband has had some operations on his legs and he can't be walking too far all over the place. So I do like to have something with me that um, we can still walk and get out and do things but then we can sit down as well and chat and I can have my stitching with me. And also he likes to do the cooking, which is absolutely A-OK -okay with me. So in the evening, I sat outside and he did the cooking. Like, he doesn't even want me in the kitchen <laughs> when he's cooking because he doesn't like me interfering, I don't think. That is all fine by me because that gives me some time to sit outside and stitch all over this piece. So the next day, a lovely morning. Cup of coffee. And then I could get started. So we had lovely, lovely weather. And we were able to go out to the market and go and see some sights. But I can't stitch in the car because I'm the driver. He's the cook, I'm the driver. So I was in a hurry to start this second one. I'd started doing a flower. And I'm desperately trying to enjoy doing this first one, but I'm not liking it. But I soldier on with my idea which was to cut out these squares where I'd put some fabric, the red fabric behind it, so that the red fabric behind kind of shines through a bit. 
because with this like contrasting nice bright red colour underneath. I do like red and denim. I think that looks really nice. But I'm struggling away trying to get on with it. But I'm like I say, <laughs> I enjoy doing the other one a lot more. So when I was packing my briefcase, I was actually yapping on the phone to a friend and not concentrating very much. And when I got everything out, especially my threads, I just thought, oh, I've hardly got any colours to be going on with. So I was really limited. And I do think that, <laughs> I know they keep on saying that, oh, this helps creativity when you limit yourself. Um, but this it's just not fun for me when I'm too limited. So um, if I do take this kind of thing away again, I'll be going with bags of thread and not just that little pouch with a few threads in because I like to have choice. I like to sit surrounded by a whole mess of pearls and beads and threads, knitting yarns that you can couch down and <laughs> buttons, ribbons, laces, a lot of it. So here, because I am so limited in um, thread colouring, I've thought, oh, you see, it wasn't a bad idea taking away this little bit of um, felting wool. So I had limited, limited beads and limited, limited sequins. But on the bead and sequin front, that was okay. I mean, it's amazing how much you need for a tiny little project. <laughs> or how much I think I need. Happily, I found in the bottom of my handbag some orange, tiny little orange pearls that I forgot were there. So luckily, I had my enough of my wits about me to get this felt in wool into my little briefcase because I just thought that I really wanted I really needed orange and I didn't really have anything orange so I sort of couched down this little bit of um felt in wool and made a little bit of a Maybe a petal or something. <laughs> Some sort of magical, whimsical flower arrangement. Not based on any reality. <laughs> so we left on Friday. We came back later in the day on Monday. And this is as far as I got while we were away because I didn't bring anything to actually finish them with. And also I was just doing this and the bits of time that we had while he was cooking, while we were waiting for something up early in the morning, that kind of thing. So I got the rest finished off when we got home. I chose a back and fabric. I measured it to make sure it was the same at each side. And I put some bias bound, binding around this one. The machine out and then hand stitch the other side. And then the blue one, I just cut out a big piece of backing fabric. Because I didn't have any bias binding that the colour would go. And then I do the corners like this. And I stitch this down by hand as well. And then this is them finished. There we go. Pearls, sequins, threads, felt and wool, <laughs> a little bit of everything. And I quite like this one. Well, I enjoyed doing it anyway. I could have put a little prestard on there, a little clipper, a little popper. But I just put a normal prestard prestard because um, of the sequins but the battery fits in <clears throat> and I can put the little wire in as well so that functions perfectly well and I'm quite happy with that one now this one what can we say 
I think I'll just have to call this a bit of um, textile art. <laughs> I mean, he's not going to like it. I might have to keep this one for myself. But you never know. I'll ask him. But there's just endless possibilities, isn't there, with this kind of thing. And I would have quite liked to attach this bit of pom-pom trim. But by this time, I couldn't be bothered. So I had a lovely time, a really nice relaxing weekend. Thank you so much to my husband for organising that weekend. A little bit of stitching, a little bit of walking, a little bit of sitting in the sun. It was really nice. So thank you so much for watching. Like it if you've liked it and subscribe if you want it. Here's a little song to sing you out. And since I don't know about copyright, um, I've used some local talent. Sur le toit, danse avec moi, tu ferais des milliers de choses avec moi dans ma vie. Je suis là, autour de toi, je ferai tout ce que tu veux, même tout ce que je le veux. Oui, danse avec moi, sur le toit, danse avec moi, danse avec moi, sur le toit. Non, 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 c'est bon.